and with much soul searching, I have come to fully understand the reach and impact of my voice beyond gospel music. There is such a care to take when you realize you're not just preaching to the choir anymore. You're preaching to the ones who wanted to be in the choir and was too scared to come because they didn't understand our language. Musicians, the God-given ability to unite and to heal and to understand that some of my past words, comments, preaching has been received by the LGBTQ plus community as negative and hurtful. There is nothing more hurtful than to think, to imagine that you said something in the name of God and it hurts somebody. You know, we have a church lingo. We have a church jargon that everybody doesn't get. And sometimes you've got to say it for the people in the back. And for that, I want to apologize to the LGBTQ community. Let's give them a great big round of applause. We want them to have strength and to sincerely know that we must all do the work to embrace all of what God's people and show forth his love to everyone. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I hope that this award and this moment can be the beginning of a bridge building and listening to each other as we follow peace with all men and develop the character of God, which requires seeing God. And so that was the apology that came from the mouth of Kim Burrell. Uh, Linus, I'll let you go first and, and, and tell me what you heard and what you received in, in that moment. Well, you know if I'm, I'm Kim Burrell right now, I feel like I might as might have just kept my mouth shut. Right. Because in your half apology, you pissed off two communities. The people that you are apologizing to are like, girl, that's not an apology. And the people that you apologize that you the people that you call yourself representing with that apology are like, girl, we don't even want to acknowledge them. So why are you even bothering? But what I think she's doing in this moment for her own, whatever that, whatever it feels for her, if she's trying to mitigate what she said so that it is not as negative to the people that she, that do her hair, that do her makeup, that are in her life roasting her on a regular basis for being anti them while taking advantage of their services. Mm. So I'm sure that she's getting tired of getting read out in the makeup room. And, <laughs> <wants to> now, <laughs> and now wants to put herself in a situation where she can actually have a dialogue. I I'm going to say this. Give, don't give us lip service necessarily. Show us. Now that you've made this formal public apologize, we need some affirmation. We need to see you affirming LGBTQ people, not necessarily just continuing with the same rhetoric that you did before. Because if you're apologizing, that means you're doing some learning and unlearning at the same time. So let that manifest the next time you're in the pulpit. Let that manifest the next time you're on the stage. Let that manifest in your community Ooh, work. Let that's a good point. Mm -hmm. The only way to really the only way to really express God's love is not through word, but through deeds. Hopefully you really meant it, Kim, and we see your deeds begin to match your words. 